good morning. We're uh, on a little trip over here in Singapore. I'm sitting on one of the main roads here. Uh, can't tell you what road it is, but it's a road. Uh, I'm going to go down to East Coast Park, I think it's called. And I'm using one of these cool things. This is the grab wheels. Cool, I've got the light on, didn't even realise. But uh, these things, what you do is you hire them. You tap into them on your phone and you're able to uh, hire them for a bit of a cruise. I've gone and picked one up this morning while my wife sleeps and uh, cruise down to the beach and have a bit of a look. Electric scooter. They kick off at around about, about 50 cents for every five minutes or something. So 50 cents for five minutes works out to be $6 an hour. That's not really too bad. So I'm going to cruise around on this for um, a couple of hours, see if I can find a place to go fishing. I've brought a rod over with me and I've got, uh, I've picked up a rod here as well, a little I don't really know, three to maybe six kilo rod. Find our way to an underpass under this major road. Someone's taking the seats off that bike. Ooh. Things fly along. I'm sitting on about 15 k's an hour now. I think they will build up more speed, sitting on about 16. So, it's not a bad sort of speed to be doing. This is my first time abroad, so pretty excited to be having a look around. I had a look at some gardens and fishing shops and things yesterday. The fishing shops here are pretty cool. Going to get out our rod and uh, set it up, see if we can find a fish in here. I've got a bait caster rod there and this new spin rod. brought a reel over with me a couple of reels a bait caster and a spinning reel the one i've got is my little atc valiant 2000 i did find that they've got them quite cheap over here as well some of the things over here seem to be quite a bit cheaper and then other things seem to be a lot more expensive i've picked up got to remember that there's an exchange rate of around about 90 singapore cents to the australian dollar but I still managed to pick up a couple of Zeric fish traps for about $9 each. So that's quite a bit cheaper than what we're used to in Australia. No idea what to expect over here. Quite possibly absolutely zero. This rod may not handle the small lures I'm looking to flick around, but we'll um, give them a go anyway and see what we can do. Let's go with a crackjack. Right, see how we go. It's not overly deep and I probably could walk through this to get onto there. See the shipping channel out here, ships just everywhere. See a big pier up there, so I might head on up there and have a bit of a look. Fella sitting out here and having a fish. Not sure where his line is. See if we can't get ourselves onto a fish today. Okay, this fella's bringing something in, but he might just be bringing his bait in. No, he's got himself a fish. And a little tucker, I don't know what it is. Throw on one of these little Derek fish traps because they like to get to the bottom. Looks very sandy, so I don't expect to see much in the way of rocks on the bottom. And there's my first snag. Quite mistaken we were. I'm 
Okay. One lure down. So that's not really the way to go. No such luck there. Might push on to our next spot. So I might be in with a chance in there. Our first little Singapore fish. A bit funny. You need it. Yeah, I'll let you grab him off if you like. I don't want to kill him on you. So I've just caught that little fish. No idea what it was, but it looks bait fish like, so I offered it to the gentleman that had been here using his sabiki. Hopefully it's helpful to them and they can catch something with it. Many fish here? Not this not for the last couple of weeks. Yeah really. Yeah, I think it's the weather. Yeah. yeah. No rain. I no think rain. It affected the fish. We normally catch a lot of um, herring. Okay. We use it as bait. Yes, yes. Yeah. But the last few weeks very few. How big are they normally? The herring? Yeah. Uh, it's about this size? Sure. Well can get can get bigger. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You have the wolf herring is this big. Yeah. <laughs> we I I catch them back home in Australia. Well you have wolf herring also? Yes, yes. I thought you guys have a lot of uh, queen fish. We do, we do. We have a lot of queen fish around here also. Oh lovely. Yeah. And they taste good. Um I had it just yesterday for shashumi. Yes, beautiful. They're nice, very nice. Yeah. Fish. yeah. <laughs> well my last good fish I caught was last not Monday gone, the one before. Yep. And it was a GT, Giant Trevally. Oh, you did? Yeah. I, I, no, that was actually back in Australia. Oh, okay. On my kayak. Right. And it was on a live herring. Okay. And it was about a metre 30. Wow. About 25 kilos. Whoa. Took you how long to wheel it in? About 20 minutes. Oh, that's not that's too bad. Not, not too bad. Because <laughs> they tow you. Yeah. They drag you. On a kayak. Yeah. Yes. The, the, the GD fish you, not, not you fish the GD. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I missed him. Run out of path here. Got to work out how I can get across this road. So, a very, very off road. Just a little bit lost, not lost, but more so just don't have a footpath. So keeping an eye out for cars, because I believe it's supposed to be a car track. Keeping an eye out for cars. Keep on cruising along, find myself a footpath and get back onto it, I suppose. There we go. Found a work zone. Back onto the... Uh, National Sailing Centre. We're back onto the proper bikeway off the road, so that's got to be a good thing. So I've tried my hand at saltwater fishing here. 
and the result was pretty poor. That's okay, the next place we'll go will probably be to one of the jetties, no, one of the um, reservoirs, I think. Sounds like we've got a bit of a storm rolling in. Just had a bit of thunder before. Beauty, what do you got in there? Ah, ah, don't, 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 you got my thumb. Yeah, you proper got my thumb, mate. <laughs> <laughs> 